Hi, I'm Maria Langer, author of Mac OS 10.5 Leopard Visual Quick Start Guide and a bunch of other books. And today I'm going to show you how to use the Mosaic Screen Saver feature in Mac OS 10.5. To get started, you want to open up your System Preferences. And in the System Preferences window, click Desktop and Screen Saver. And then, if necessary, in the Desktop and Screen Saver panel here, click the Screen Saver button. And that brings up the Screen Saver modules. What we need to do here is we need to choose one of the picture options. So scroll down here and under Pictures, you can choose any of these different picture mo modules. You've got um, the ones that come with Mac OS X, you've got your Pictures folder here, you've got the ability to choose any other folder you like. If you've got iPhoto 8 installed, you'll have some iPhoto 8 events. And I'm scrolling down some more, I have a lot of events. You've got other uh, iPhoto um, albums and uh, galleries. Okay, and you've also got some different folders here. However, you've got iPhoto set up, they'll all appear at the bottom of this list here. The one I want is in the middle. I've got a bunch of flagged images and I'm going to use that. So I'm going to select that. And when I do, it pulls up one of the images that I've flagged in my iPhoto uh, photo albums. The important thing here is to choose the right display style. We want to choose the mosaic display style. So I'm going to click that picks up a picture and then I'm going to click the options button and set options for this. Um, I've already set these once before so I've turned on the present slides in random order option and that will randomize the different pictures. I've told that I want 60 rows of uh, images, little mosaic tiles to make up my image. You can drag this either way to change it. And I want to uh, have the mosaic picture build quicker so I've got it more dragged more towards the faster side. Click OK here, and then what you can do to, to see what it's going to look like, click the Test button. Now what Mac OS X does is it starts by displaying one of the pictures in that folder, and then slowly as you watch, it will move that folder out, that image out. As you see, it's just starting to do that now. Now if it appears a little bit jerky on your uh, image, on your this little screencast, um, that's because of the way I shot at the frames per second. Um, it actually happens quite smoothly on a computer. Now that picture is zooming out and you're seeing a whole bunch of other pictures that I've got stored in iPhoto. And the way the pictures are working is they're, they're organizing themselves by color and together they're going to form another image. And you really don't know what that image is going to be until it's, until it's almost done. So right now it's, it's almost done here. I'm not quite sure what that is yet. And when it gets to a certain point that it's complete, what it will do is it will turn into the actual image and then create the next one. That particular image happens to be a night photo taken uh, in Rockefeller Center by, by St. Patrick's Cathedral and then it's scrolling out again, it's zooming out, and you'll see another image. I want to show you a few of these just so you get an idea of what this does. And what you'll notice that it works really, really well if you have a lot of photos. You'll see a lot of different photos making up that image. So here we've got a photo of a friend of mine's home, and in their home they've got this wonderful outside veranda where you can sit and, and drink coffee or wine or whatever. This was taken at a recent visit to their home. And I'll let you see one more image to get an idea of how they all change. It's kind of neat because you get to see all the images in your iPhoto album or in your pictures folder, or basically all the pictures on your computer. You get to see them all as it works. And this image here, let's see what this is. Oh, this is standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. If you ever get up to Winslow, this is what you'll see on that particular corner. So you get the idea, and you could you can kind of watch this all day. It's it's kind of fun to see. When you're finished looking at the test, just click the escape button. I should say press the escape button and that'll take you back to the screensaver. You could set other options here if you like. I am got it like I kind of like it the way it's set. So I'm going to click the uh, close button and it'll save those settings and that's all there is to it. 